Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Davidson Golian, and I'm a real estate agent here in Central Oregon. Today, in this video, we are going to be talking about the market and how it's shifting here in Central Oregon. The main areas that I'm going to focus on where you can really see the shift is our two largest cities that's in Bend and Redmond. Bend and Redmond are definitely some hot spots here as we have started to grow in Central Oregon with a lot of people moving into town and they saw the largest increase in sales and average rate. Something to keep in mind as I talk about these numbers, these are for single family residential homes only. So they're not going to include things like land, condos, uh, and multifamily units. Ben's average rate for a single family home in the month of October was $680,000. That is the first time that Bend has seen an average rate under 700,000 since January of 2022. As our pricing starts to go down, another thing that you'll see is an increase in how long homes are actually staying on the market. So uh, you'd think they'd go a little bit faster because pricing is low, but no, days on the market is actually up to 28 days. And a lot of that has to do within, uh, with the inflation and the increasing mortgage rates. But speaking of mortgage rates, they actually just dipped down this week back to an average of around 6.25%. So typically during the slower, slower seasons, our inventory decreases because people stop selling their homes, take them off of the market during the winter months. We're not seeing that this year. Our inventory for Bend is still at two months worth of inventory. So still a great time to shop. Moving on to Redmond. So Redmond's average sales price is 478,000. And that's the first time that Redmond has seen something under half a million since February of 2022. Uh, same with Bend, you are seeing a rise in the, the amount of days that a home is on the market. Redmond is around 24. And uh, you're looking at around two months of inventory for Redmond as well. Sisters, Oregon, which has been a very popular place for people um, where inventory has been low for quite some time is actually seeing an uptick. You have around three months of inventory. Homes have been sitting on the market for around 46 days and their average home price is around $654,000. I think a big reason why we are having three months of inventory in Sisters is because there's a lot of new construction going on and a lot of these homes are coming near completion. Another popular smaller destination is Sun River. Sun River hasn't seen uh, a lot of inventory over the last year and they are finally up out of the, you know, point zero digits or zero point digits up to one month's worth of inventory. Homes are sitting on the market for an average of 45 days, and their medium home price is $828,000. The next three cities that we're gonna talk about have stayed steady over the last few months, and they haven't seen the decline that you've seen in Redmond or Bend. And that first one is going to be Lapine, Oregon. Lapine's average uh, cost for a home is $445,000. These homes sit on the market for an average of 36 days. And same as Sisters, there is a lot of new construction going on in Lapine right now. A lot of those homes are now becoming available. So they have about four months worth of inventory on the market right now. Next is Jefferson County, Madras, Culver, Metolius areas. Their average home price is our lowest at $380,000. Homes do sit on the market for an average of only 23 days and they have three months of inventory available. And last but not least is Jefferson County, which right now feels like the fastest growing county here in Central Oregon. Their average home price is around 409,000. Homes sit on the market for an average of 26 days and they also have three months worth of inventory available. I've really been diving into the numbers this year and I'm curious what the current decrease in interest rates are going to bring for November. But I do think that, no, obviously the market's not crashing here in Central Oregon. We are definitely a top destination and people continue to move here, but we are seeing a leveling out of the market. 
things are starting to decrease from the high, high increases that we saw this year. And we're starting, starting to, uh, I think, find our plateau. If you're interested in the numbers and want to know more about either moving to Central Oregon or selling your home, I'd be happy to help. I'll put all my information on the next slide and have a, as Bob Shaw would say, beautiful day in Central Oregon.